Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Now, of course, it has been a very long time since the last episode, my friends. But for those of you guys who have been keeping up to date with my community posts here on the channel or any of my channels, you'll know why there has been such a delay since the last episode. I'm not going to address what's been going on in the video here because I like to play video games and I like to have fun while doing so. And I like to have nice positive vibes on my videos here on YouTube. So I'm going to to continue to do that but uh, for all of you guys who have been keeping up to date with what's been going on and have been leaving supportive words kind words all that kind of stuff just know that i really really appreciate it not just myself but my family as well so truly for all of you guys who have been super supportive and patient lately thank you i very much appreciate you now of course if you're excited for the return of our content here then please do be sure of course to drop a like i very much appreciate it of course if you're new around here consider subscribing with those bell notifications turned on but of course if you do want to go one further with your support and be an absolute MVP, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. Alrighty, so after a quick roam around my base, I think I have figured out a couple of sort of more immediate goals that we have for this series, alright? I think the thing that we're going to do today is we're going to go to the southeastern cave with our Baryonyx and we are going to try and get ourselves our first artifact of the series, alright? 21 episodes in and we've got no artifacts. We need to change that, don't we? Also, the industrial grinder. That is actually the final high-end crafting station that we really need in order to finish off our little collection of high-end crafting stations. So yeah, we need 3,200 metal ingots, 2,000 crystals, 800 cementing paste, and 600 polymer. Polymer is easy to come by. Crystal is easy to come by. Cementing paste... Uh, kind of annoying. Metal, it's probably going to take at least a couple of metal trips. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe we do that in the next episode, alright? But today, we're going to take it chill. We're going to take our Baryonyx Barry down to the southeastern cave, okay? And we're going to have ourselves a caving episode, my friends. Before heading down to the caves, though, my friends, we have Jomix75 with the comment of the day who says, Omnidirectional lampposts light a circular area around the post. The Regular lamppost lights in one direction. You can also use coloured dyes and spray or paint the posts and light colour. Ah, okay. Really appreciate the tip there, buddy. I had absolutely no idea you could paint the uh, lights on these things. Maybe that's something we need to go ahead and get into in this series because I don't really think I've worked too much with dyes and paint in the past. So then, we've got food, we've got water, and if I was to head on in here, we've got ourselves a few of these here energy brews. Uh, doesn't have any nutritional value, but refills stamina. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, it's the medical brew I think is going to be the thing I want to have. Yeah, look at that. Very, very nice. Wow, okay, that really doesn't last overly long. But then again, it's at the very, very bottom of its spoil timer. So, I don't know. My estimation is maybe, what, two hours spoil time in total? Maybe? That's a total guess. But yeah, we can get ourselves out of sticky situations real quick, like, with the medical brew. And we've got plenty of food, water, and yeah, just... Yeah, we're good. Guys, we're good. We're going to go ahead and take Barry. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll cryopod him, and then we will get ourselves down there, okay? We will go ahead and uh, take Adam, because he's the fastest of our Argentavis, right? And, uh, yeah, all should be well. All right, so you've got plenty of fish meat, and this time, since it's actually on my mind, I'm not going to forget the fish this time, all right? All right, he's cryopodded, and what do you know, I kept my word. I didn't forget about the fish for once, eh? I mean, I feel like that's a pretty massive achievement in itself. All right, Adam, it is a go time. And, well, here's the thing. We need to traverse basically the entire width of the map. We are even going to be starting to explore places that we haven't even explored in this series yet. Which is very peculiar, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, I tell you what. While we're also in the air, if there so happens to be loot beams on the way, then I see no reason why we can't go ahead and detour to them. Well, I'm poisoned, and sadly, that purple loot beam really wasn't worth it. We've got a flashlight attachment and a grenade blueprint. What's that worth getting poisoned for? No, not really. What have we got here? Oh, oh, hey! We actually got ourselves a saddle blueprint. 
Well, 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 ain't that a turn up? Now then, in terms of this cave that we're going to, I have a very, very checkered past with it in that uh, I feel like nine times out of ten when I go down to it, I wind up losing whatever baryonyx I may have. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is the time where that doesn't happen. You never know. I might have finally learned my lessons. I need to take down some uh, thatch foundations, right? Thatch foundations and thatch ceilings. And then we can bridge our way over any of the sort of lava bits that there are, okay? I'm not losing my baryonics today. Well, here we are, my friends, approaching the unknown. Yeah, look at that, my friends. We are slowly revealing a small strip of the island map on there right now. Yeah. Right in front of me over there, of course, is Herbivore Island. As far as I can remember, there are two or three explorer notes to be had there, which is kind of cool. There also appears to be a Quetzal over here. What level are you? 25. You are literally not even worth it. <laughs> wow! If I'm going to get a Quetzal, it's going to be max level or damn near max level, all right? Since we don't have the net projectile on here, maybe it is worth taming a low-end Quetzal just so we can use that low-end Quetzal to get ourselves in the air and be able to, you know, pelt the higher level Quetzal with a whole bunch of Trank Arrows or the Shock and Tranquilizer darts, of course. Oh, that's not a bad shot if you ask me. Anyways, here we are, my friends, the cave entrance for the southeastern cave. If you guys are interested in a map reference, there you go. But uh, yeah, this is actually one of the easiest caves on the island. And to be honest, the fact that I've died so many times with the baryonics down here is actually rather embarrassing. So here we go, my friends. We are going to have a bit of food. We are going to unquiopod Barry here. We're going to give you all of your fishies back. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. What we're going to do is we're actually going to cryopod Adam here. I must admit, part of me thinks that uh, cryopodding Adam is a bad idea because if I wind up dying in the lava and not being able to get my stuff back as a result, then we lose Adam. Um... Yeah, something to bear in mind, isn't it? So, yeah, we've got to be extra careful. Right, okay, so before going in, thatch foundations, thatch ceilings. All right, let's do it. I wonder, spoil time at two minutes for the medical brew. If I was to put it on Barry the Baryonyx, is there a difference? Oh, there is. Oh. I wonder if the medical brew can help heal dinos quicker as well. I actually have no idea. So, you know, we'll find that out as time goes on, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic, though. All right, ceilings and foundations have been made. Let's go ahead and uh, rid all of the excess crud that we just don't need. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We're going to get ourselves in here and we're going to have ourselves a ruddy good time. I'm also going to go ahead and do a little something here. Uh, harvest settings, disable resource harvesting. Because if we wind up coming into this cave and getting overwhelmed with uh, items on our dino and we're in a sticky situation, then uh, yeah, things could get very bad very, very quick. So here we are in the southeastern cave. We're going to keep on going down here. Uh, well, any minute now. Oh, yep, there we are. Oh, snappers. Oh, there's a lot of dudes here. Hiya! Go on in, son! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 126 damage. Doing good. Doing good. Still doing good. Absolutely ruining these poor kids. Yeah! As long as we don't wind up contracting mega rabies, I feel like we might be all right here. <laughs> Oh, just wrecking shop here, guys. All right, well, that's that small cluster of dudes taken out of the game. Look at the amount of baggies there are here, man. Wow. <laughs> that's not bad, is it? All right, so at this point, we are just going to buff up the ever-living poop out of this guy's melee damage. We have 10,000 health to our name, my friends, on this baryonyx. I think melee damage is the priority now. So what I usually do in terms of this cave is I just sort of leave the baggies and I explore them all in bulk on the way out, all right? So, uh, yes. On that same note, let's go ahead and kick some more booty! Come on then, fellas! Oh, spiders everywhere! Oh my goodness me! It's an arachnophobic's worst nightmare, this man! Ugh! Get out of here. God, there you go. Oh my god, wow, level 135. What a worthy adversary that guy was. 
not. I wish there was a way of making it so you could only make your dino pick up certain resources. Like, for example, I feel like I'm passing up an absolute button of chitin. And chitin is really rather useful for many, many different purposes. Mostly cementing paste in my case. But, uh, yeah, I've not been picking it up because I don't want to be overwhelmed or just a whole bunch of crud, you know? Ah, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that's unfortunate. I now have mega rabies, ladies and gentlemen. And I've got it for 80 seconds. Holy crappers. All right, well, uh, yeah, maybe I should have made an antidote, huh? Ah, mistakes were made. All right, well, the good news is we do, of course, have medical brews. So uh, that makes things uh, slightly better, I guess. Oh, interesting. The mega rabies also drains your stamina. Uh huh. Interesting to know. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and grab my medical brews and I'm going to give one a bit of a go. So, boom, consumed. Uh, right, is it like sort of counteract? Oh, it is counteracting the mega rabies. Not by much, though. I mean, it certainly gives you a bit of a boost to your health, but not a great deal. So maybe I need to go ahead and make a bit more of an effort in terms of uh, making, like, millions and millions of medical brews. I don't think that there's, like, a uh, cooldown on these things. You could just continually consume them. So what? We've got 248. Consuming this brings it up to... Uh, okay, so 288. So it restores about 40 health points. That's not bad. I wonder if we'll be able to find any cave crates in here. For those of you guys who don't know, cave crates are actually really rather lovely in terms of getting you a whole bunch of epic stuff. Right, uh, right. Some of these guys are just going to flat out fall into the lava. It's a little bit of a parkour thing. Ah! Oh, 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 what the? Okay, uh, that was very strange. Right, I think what I'm going to do here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and purposely aggro these guys, right? Boom. There we are. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, Ed. Oh, oh, yeah, you son of a gun. Yeah, that really got you mad, didn't it? <laughs> oh, get wretched, you sons of guns. An army of onyx. Oh, I feel like I'm going to get mega rabies again. No, no. No, 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 no. No mega rabies for me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Are you max level or something? Oh, about wow, 130. All right, cool. Right. Uh, yeah, that actually took care of that. Cool. Python big brain. <laughs> it's worth noting that that platform over there, a lot of the time, actually does have a crave crate spawn on it. So maybe slightly later on, we might just find one. So then, plenty more stuff to explore, my friends. We do, of course, have ourselves a whole bunch of lava going on. Oh, man. Uh, down in that little abandoned ruin there, there is a, an explore note. So that'll be pretty handy, Daddy. Uh, whoop. There we are. A little bit of a jump there. Nice and easy. Uh, right. Uh, we have multiple ways to go, my friendos. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Army of Onyx, you are no match for Barry. What I've basically been doing is uh, I've been sort of scoping out what animals are around. And if there's anything that gives chitin, I purposely enable resource harvesting so I can get that chitin. And then if it's just a bunch of Onyx and Dilophosaurs, then I disable resource harvesting. So it's a bit of a pain in the butt way to go around things, but... Uh, it kind of works. Oh, snappers. I mean, every now and again, I go ahead and just sort of stop and regen my uh, Baryonyx's health. But uh, by doing that, I'm consuming rather a lot of fish. I dare say we're going to run out of fish uh, on the Baryonyx here, which would be rather sad. Uh, and when that happens, I'm just going to have to sort of bear the brunt of it, I guess. Holy guacamole! Okay, there's rather a lot of guys over here. Uh... <laughs> Well, this is what happens when you increase your dino count setting by about 25%. Hey, you stu- he came from behind me. That's a little bit cheap, isn't it? Oh, my word. There's literally an army of, like, six or seven onyx here. Um... Oh, that's looking a bit bad, isn't it? I can't quite tell what's even going on here. Oh, I got them all. That was easy. Aha! Told ya! In this little abandoned area, there's an explorer note. Yeah! I'd love to see it. Right, now! Now we absolutely go ham on these guys! Come on, then! Come on, then! You wanna go! You wanna go! Hey, ooh, okay, we're kind of teetering on the edge of this bridge. Oh, I've got to be careful about teetering on the edge like that, my friendos. Uh, right! Hello! 
Come on in. Oh, the, the Dilophosaurus has got absolutely ruined. Uh, even more Dilophosaurus to be had here. Oh, I just want the chitin, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just too easy, man. And would you look at that, guys? Five levels up as a result of the double XP, or however much the XP is increased by. 768% melee damage. Now we're getting into the big leagues, my friends. There's actually a second explorer note down here at the abandoned uh, building here. Oh, that's pretty pog, isn't it? Alright, how many levels up do you have now? Another two? 797% melee damage. Oh, I wouldn't want to come up against Barry here. I really wouldn't. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The artifact is right there in front of me. But this area here is where my Baryonyxes keep dying. All right? We have got to be exceptionally careful in terms of, uh, you know, navigating this area. And, yeah, that is why I made a bunch of thatch uh, ceilings and uh, foundations and such. Because... It's probably going to be quite useful to our cause here. So, enable resource harvesting. We are going to pop our way around here. Basically, what we need to do... Oh, God. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We need to go ahead and just try to kill literally everything that resides here. And look at that, guys. There's a yellow cave crate ahead of me. And a freaking uh, another explorer now. Well, that's pretty pog, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, we are going to have double XP for a ridiculous amount of time here. It's going to be simply ridiculous. Like, really? Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> we're seriously starting to uh, run low on the amount of stuff we're able to carry here. Uh, right, there we are. We'll take the Explore Note, of course, which is very, very nice. And we shall, of course, take the Cave Cleat. Uh, Chitin Chest Piece and a Fiomia Saddle. That's kind of cool. So, in keeping with our getting rid of every single creature in this entire cave goal, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on going for this thing. Yeah. Anyone who's nearby, they're all going to die, basically. All right, so there's some ahead of me. Hiya. Yep, yeah, that got you. Oh, 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 that's, that's just, that's not cool, is it? They literally just come out of nowhere. They come through the roof, I swear. These guys are just no-clip warriors. Oh, dear. All right, there we are. 882% melee damage. Holy guacamole. All righty. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the thatch foundations and ceilings come in. So, yep, you are not on follow, which is a good. What we're going to do is grab out the foundations, grab out the ceilings here, and hopefully... Yeah, I might actually be able to do this. I might actually be able to survive this for once. All right, so we do that. Okay. And then we grab out the ceilings... Oh, oh, oh. oh, this just makes things so much easier, doesn't it? Look at that, man. Oh, this is great. All right, and then that will sort of connect up there. And what do you know? I can now easily navigate this. Wait, I'm not going to fall through there, am I? Nah, I'm good, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, we are going freaking 9,000 IQ on this freaking son of a gun. Nice. All right, so all we've got to do now is make ourselves another little bridge. Do it right here. All right. We'll uh, pop ourselves on here. Put ourselves down some of these. And then some more of that. Right. That's it, guys. That should be it. Oh, my God. We actually did it with bridges. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right. Here we go. Right. Make double sure that this guy is not on follow. Okay. You're on passive as well. So you shouldn't wind up, like, angering a bunch of people. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to purposely anger this guy over here. Okay. Make him fall into the lava, ideally. And I'm also going to purposely anger this guy over here. Right. Yes. You go You go do your thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody dead. Everybody dead aside from me. Oh, it feels good, baby. All right. So uh, once we get rid of this stupid cobweb effect, we can simply roam on over here. And we can pop on off here. Oh, this is great, dude. We finally have our first artifact. It's beautiful, isn't it? So let's go grab it out. The artifact of the massive. There you have it. Eh? Pretty awesome, man. We actually got it. And we didn't have any issues whatsoever. Right. Uh, do we want to push it and try to find more cave crates? Or do we go home now?
Hmm, that is the question, isn't it? I really do kind of want to find another cave crate, even if it's just one more. My usual rule is that I would try to find three. But you know, this is actually one of the easier caves in this entire map. I don't imagine I'm going to be finding all that great of loot. But then again, I've, I've been surprised before, guys. So I tell you what, we're just going to try and go for one more cave crate, okay? Just the one. And I tell you what, since we are kind of on our way out, we can now start going through all of these little baggies here. We're going to see if there's some decent stuff in it. All right, some uh, ammo. That's always useful. Uh, meat jerky recipe, some more ammo. Uh, what else have we got here? More ammo even still. Oh, man, this is great. All right, another baggy, uh, which has got, eh, not really that interesting stuff, to be honest with you. Kind of tempted to take those so I could give the industrial grinder a test in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, we're just going to sort of mosey on out of here while simultaneously trying to sort of look for cave crates as well. Oh, look at that. We got a trank arrow. Nice. Oh, man, the baggies are everywhere. You know what I'm really surprised about is the fact that I didn't come across a single arthro in here. You know, those disgusting giant worm dudes that give you millions of chitin. Like, they genuinely freak me out. But somehow... Don't ask me how. Somehow we've managed to completely evade them. Oh, there's a little bit of an uphill jump here. Do I dare jump it or do we go for better safe than sorry? You know what? I think I've already kind of made the decision just by the fact that I've already got the stop out, you know? <laughs> All right, so there we are. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. And well, actually, that's just about it. All right, Barry, we are not risking you, okay? It's not happening. I will not risk this guy for anything. It's just not happening, is it? No, no, no. All right, how about a cave crate? Maybe over there. You know, my cave crate senses are tingling. Ah, oh, darn it. No, there's not one there. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Ah, oh, man. Come oh, on, there's got to be one more. Oh, interesting. Turns out there's an area here which I did not explore. Uh, let's do something about that, shall we? Can I get that guy enraged on me? Yeah. All right, come on then. Come on. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. Come eat me, buddies. Come eat me. Come on. Come on. I'm your snack for today. Psych. <laughs> hey there, spiders. Goodbye, spiders. <laughs> Oh, guys, check this out. I think that's a Megalania, isn't it? Megalania? I think that's what it's called. Uh, where's my darn spyglass? Uh, okay, there it is. All right, what level are you, buddy? It is a Megalania. It's only level 60, though. Ah, interestingly, I don't think it's hostile. Maybe it's territorial, like a Therizino. Like, if you get, like, all up in its grill, then yeah, it would start attacking you. But I sort of roamed past him casually while I was going ahead and defeating a whole bunch of dudes. And it just didn't seem that fussed about me. Hey, there we are. It's only a blue one. But uh, I don't know, man. We might still get some good stuff. Let's have a look. Uh, oh. A blueprint for a wooden club. Interesting. You know what? That's actually not that bad because it means we can slightly upgrade our normal wooden clubs. So we can get organic polymer from the baby penguins a bit better, you know? Ah, 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 thinking ahead. All right, so I think that's just about going to do it for this cave system here, my friends. I don't want to push it any further because we have done our objective and we are still alive. And more to the point, my, quite frankly, amazing Baryonyx is also still alive. Did I ever think that I would actually be able to uh, conquer this cave without a Baryonyx dying? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> we did it, man. We did it! Oh, if that doesn't deserve a like, then I don't know what does, man! We did it without my Baryonyx dying for once! You know what? Since it's on the way back, we're also going to grab ourselves some crystal. Because, you know, we've got quite a lot of carry weight still spare. So, yeah, pretty handy dandy. Hey, buddy! How's it going, Mr. Cardo? You're going to die. Bye-bye! <laughs> Level 10. What embarrassment. Why did you even bother spawning? Seriously. What was it? 2,000 crystal we needed? Uh, we managed to get from that little load. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 845 crystals. That's not a bad little start right there, if you ask me. My goodness, I can't see a darn thing. There's just fog everywhere. Oh, my word. <laughs> Please don't despawn. Please don't despawn. Please don't despawn. Please don't despawn. Oh, it's a ringed one. Oh, it's this horrible place, though. Oh, no. Okay. Access inventory. Oh, good, good. Uh, let's have you. Oh, 
I could just get... Oh, that was actually pretty painless. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we actually get from there? Wow, a laser attachment and an IED. That wasn't worth it, was it? For a ringed yellow loop beam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are home just about. Oh my goodness, look at how lit up it is. Wow, that is very lit up, my friends. That's a lot of light going on here. <laughs> oh, fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We are home, safe and sound. We have literally thousands of bits of chitin on this guy here and quite a lot of crystal as well. We do, of course, have the main article of the matter itself, the artifact of the massive. For now, of course, that is going to go in the uh, valuables chest. Yeah, very, very cool. And guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. If you have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited for the return of art content to this channel, please do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, again, a massive thank you for all of your patience, understanding, and support through the tough times that my family and me have been going through lately. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.